Hi guys, you got some more from Zoas. This guy's here from Cape Town. Listen, um, the reason for today's video is just to give all my subscribers and the people you might know a gift, and you could possibly use that. I have used it a lot, and it is to assist in building coils. All right. Now, seeing that I've done five tutorials on the Daedalus, um where you need to try and keep your wires close together. And I know the Daedalus kit actually includes those small little guides. Okay, remember those small little guides? Now, sometimes those little guides ain't enough. You might need more um, than one guide. And that's where these little guys come in. All right. Now, I call these guys BDs. If you look at this photo at the bottom over there, that is what I have designed. All right. And somebody drew it up for me using a 3D printer software obviously and I am going to make that file available and it is only going to be available for the next 30 days all right and it is at this specific link where you will be able to get it so approximately up until 12 13 February you might be able to get this guy for the next four weeks as I said right I will also post a link at the bottom all right under details so you can check out that link and then I now I've also made one or two videos on using these beads without the Daedalus if you want to check that out as well it is free for your usage all you need to do if you've got a 3d printer obviously you you you've got it made um, and if you even know somebody who's got a 3d printer you just take this file to them and tell them listen this is what you want to get printed out but that file includes the design of three different beads and that is a 24 gauge 26 gauge and 28 gauge all right and what i mean by that is these little beads they've got small slits in them and those slits is where you're going to put your wires through now the beads which is for 24 gauge obviously you're going to be able to put the size 24 gauge wires through them and the same that applies with the 26 and the 28 gauge so yeah um, it has helped me a lot keep my wires together to make great builds especially frame staples and the alien type of builds but yeah you're absolutely welcome to use it and as I said you have got the file now if you want to make these little slits wider so that you can have a wider core combination of wires then you can do that you've got the design make that small alteration on the design and make the, uh, your next beads okay make beads that suits the width of the coils which you want to do but these guys are, are fine for what i want them to and i was capable of making outside border wires with about six to eight ribbon plies on the inside using these guys all right so it's basically just a thank you from our side for all the people that have actually subscribed i mean for a south african youtuber to have a thousand plus subscribers is is huge i mean south africa is very small um in the vape scene the vape scene basically is between the east japan and china more china and then europe and then america but they forget about the small little countries at the bottom so yeah from our side thank you very much and go to that link download the file save the file somewhere and even if you use it at a later stage it is very very nice just one thing i want to rectify concerning the g-box still very happy with it no matter what the flaws which it has is this little guy and it's one of my subscribers that actually pointed that out now because my eyes are off i mean i'm 112 years old so my eyes are half shot already so even if it looks like i've got glasses on sometimes depth perception <laughs> under the <laughs> under the incorrect light is impossible so in any case i thought that was paint but then he told me that but isn't it air vent holes and yeah at a closer inspection i actually took this little knife and just jabbed it in there and so my goodness it's not black paint but it's still weird for me that your batteries are located at the back over here and you have got these little venting holes right in the front 
I would have thought it would be better to just put these venting holes at the bottom over there. But in any case, so yeah, that is not paint, but I still think it looks corny. Okay, so yeah, enjoy that file, make your beads, and be a happy builder and a happy vapor. This is Kaiser, signing over now. Cheers.